Hello and welcome back to Expeditions A Mud Runner Game. We are heading back out into Arizona. Now I think today we're gonna hop into some free roam again and see if we can uh, get a few more of these well-paid jobs because if we come back out of there. If we have a little look on the map as well as the Did we not do that? Yeah, we've done that. That's our last one, isn't it? Right. The uh, contracts that are also out on the map, which are these paid symbols. I think we can just trigger those while we're out there. And if we have a look at something like, say, River Crossing. It's nearly, it's nearly 20 grand, which is quite good. And all you have to do, by the looks of it, all you have to do is go out and install some hydro monitoring systems but it does take us quite a ways around the map so I'm thinking we could do that whether they were, I'm not sure whether there's something like this can be done all in one hit or whether these are things that we should be doing over time like do a little bit and, and what have you I'm not sure uh, but I also looked into some vehicles I can't show you until we get there. But by doing the unsuccessful uh, due analysis, well, that would unlock a truck for us. So if, again, if I just uh, potter around a little bit, if we go to truck store, one of these locked ones, and it looks quite a brute. This one, yeah, the pug. Uh, unsuccessful due analysis unlocks this. So... Maybe this is one where we where we do it and we whether we get to keep it or we do it and we buy it. That's uh yeah, so that, that could be interesting. Get ourselves a new truck. Yeah, I'm, th I'm, I'm I think we're gonna go with the um the river crossing one. And I th think if we have a look um, so we're gonna toss the the hydro monitoring system. We need to have three of them, and they fit on the on the back on the sideboard. They don't they don't go in the inventory. So I'm thinking we're gonna need uh, a fair bit of fuel. If I can just remove that, we're gonna need a fair bit of fuel as well. If in case we can't hit anything to. Uh, fill up with so I'm going to take out the step we um, sideboard selected add-on is in conflict with installed add-on rear mounted rack um, okay so we've got to get rid of our oh, we've got to get rid of our extra can we just oh we can't deselect it we've got to sell it okay we got our money back, that's fine. So now can we add on the sideboard? We can. Okay. So with that, we're going to want three of those. Just like that. And I'm assuming Oh, so I'm assuming I'm going to go with like three lots of fuel and some spare parts just in case <laughs> I just think that's uh, that's going to be the sensible option uh, I think we get rid of the uh, that paint job now we had it for a bit we'll get rid of it I'm trying to think what colour of our other trucks gone as they're like not that everything has to be the same colour, but oh, a little bit orange and black. We'll have that. So then in the inventory, we'll take a couple of jacks, uh, some winch. It's a long trip. I reckon we could roll a bit. We'll t <laughs> take them. Um, some, some anchors. 
and we'll, we'll have one empty space <laughs> to pick up extras if we find them, I guess. It's going to be an expensive one. So that's 10 grand there, but we should make something back from our, our selling or we'll put these in stock when we return back to base or something. Hopefully. Now, I don't think we have any actual upgrades here. High range. A high range gearbox with an increased gear count. Top speed and fuel efficiency. Uh, we don't want that. I don't like the fine tune. We've already got the lift kit on. Tyres, I think there are our best tyres. Diffs on and snorkel. Snorkel will do. So yeah, I think that is truck number one. And I'm also going to put a scout out there as well. Just, I just think it makes sense to have a scout out. And just to be able to... I'd also bring fuel and stuff, but it's got a little bit of fuel on at hand so just in case we do get stuck or need to to do something. That's that's what I'm thinking here. And there is this rangefinder, camera trap, the light beacon. That's alright, we'll leave it there. Because I don't think we're gonna get very very far. If I'm if I'm honest. Now I am gonna take I believe it's the five supplies limit for on anchor. We've got a new manager as well. Um we get a, a free evacuation, so it's a free return that is without having to pay. An extra one. I think you get one anyway. Uh uh, minus ten percent purchase price and plus thirty selling price. Oh, so if we if they pay for her, we could save a little, and then what we sell back, we get more of. But she costs fifteen grand. Are we better off just having the selling price, man? I think we need to uh, make sure we got these teams and stuff sorted out now. I want to take him. Plus we get less damage except for wheels. So then we're going to deploy. Now, there was one of the... Oh, what's that? Oh, is that? That's the... Um, geologist thing, isn't it? That's where the other truck is that we got to pick up. Anywho, we are going to put... There... And then, oh, why do I do that? Put that one at the west, yep. Yeah. And then this one, west outpost as well. Or, or here. Not that it would make much difference. I don't know why we'd have it here. I think we'll, I'm going to stick it at the west as well. So let's go. We're going to try quite a big job today. This might be a long video. If it feels like it's going to be exceptionally long, I'll uh, maybe cut it into two, or we'll just have one long one going out for the day. So, if we then pick River Crossings, or can we not... Oh, can I not select it? Do I have to get there to start it or something? I don't know. It's there though, isn't it? So hopefully if we if we get there. That'll look like a challenge in itself. Oh we come this way. Yeah, if we can get down there and start it. That might be... Oh, I'm confused now. Should we go down there and scout first? I've got the scout. Let's do that. Let's go scout. Uh, 
Um, not there. Builder modules. I'm wondering, should I put some more fuel down? And maybe a warehouse here. I'm not sure if we're going to be working that way here a lot. I'm going to put the film do that, yeah. Okay, just in case. So, or we'll drive on. That was sort of over this way and then, then down across the front. Just turn the headset down, it's a bit loud today. Right. So I hope everyone's well, I hope you had a good day, I hope you're enjoying the series, if you are, thank you for the support on the series, that's sort of how that works. Today of recording this is the day, it's the first uh, full release. So we never know, we might get a, a slightly larger audience come, going forwards from here, I don't know. Maybe it's slightly smaller as everyone goes off and plays it rather than watches it. Now which which is the best? Try and turn the engine off. Right, the best way to get down. It looks like that's the best way down. Strangely enough. Maybe it's there and then sort of sliding down. And across. So we've got an airdrop there. And that's a fallen truck. And that's the one, that's a quest item. So that's... Hmm, do a bit of scout. We might be able to go across and have a look at that as well. Because so I think we need to see if we pan out need to actually see a little bit more of what's going on in some of these areas especially like over here and we don't know there could be lots there not lots but stuff upgrades especially so let's on that on that note let's have a look see if there is anything that we can Ooh. speak of the devil they've got one there is an upgrade how do we get down to it there that looks like the way down so if you go down there and then try and come down grab an upgrade that's what they are then boxes aren't they upgrades and then whatever I'm supposed to be getting over there to trigger that job now if we come down in that big truck i ain't got a clue how we get back up i really haven't that's sort of the the downfall of my plan I think we'd have to try and get ourselves up there we've got plenty of anchors haven't we alright let's go see if we can get the uh, the upgrades there'll probably be something that'll uh, help our truck and then we got it too late because we've already uh, <laughs> started the expedition thinking maybe the <laughs> the anchor comes out that's what I'm thinking we have lots of extras thankfully because of our mechanic allowing that so if we that's fine we lower ourselves down Start the engine up again. Yeah, 
all the way down, I think. As far as we can go. I guess then to try and get out. Well, as long as we're still on this run, the... Uh, The Angus will still be there for the for the larger truck, so we can still try and get that large truck down here, can't we? Oh no. It's a good job. <laughs> it's a good job we have these these anchors, I tell you. Good job. Let's just pull ourselves right over. Roll me, roll me. You know you want to. There we are. Oh. Right. So yeah, we'll be able to use them with our truck. Now keeping that other truck upright coming down there is going to be more of a challenge. We may even have to find somewhere else to lower that back down if I do decide to do this. If if we don't go ahead with this 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 sort of planned uh, route of action is going to be going to have been a very expensive day out with little reward. Uh, twin motor winch. That's pretty good. Show the trucks, and that is for pretty much all our trucks. So that would help a more powerful winch for our big trucks. So yeah, we'll have to remember to put that on ne for next time. So don't, don't think you can do any changes once you're out and about, that I'm aware of. Oh, crikey, this is... Hmm. This is a one. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice and easy, come on. We're in logo, we should be smooth pulling away. I had this before, I think. And I was trying to do some smooth pulling away and it kept jumping and bouncing. Maybe. Got a little tire pressure as well. It was a bit more grip, a bit more traction. <laughs> Honestly, they are the best. They are the best thing. I think they are probably the best thing in this game. I'm starting to think that this isn't <laughs> this isn't the route you come to uh, to get to the the contract that I'm I'm trying to get to. This seems a little out of the way, doesn't it? I'll keep going. We'll have a look. Sorry about the uh, the camera angles. Keeps dancing about this trying to sort of collide with something I think. Right, can we jump down there pretty square? Come on, we're square, we're good, we're good. There we are. Change of direction doesn't seem to be uh, happening very much as well. Very much going in whatever direction the truck wants to go in at the moment. Rather than the direction I'd like it to go in. So now that looks, looks a little bit, a bit sus. Let's see what we can do. Like, get a little bit 
further. Now I think from here. Oh, what have we got there? Is that it? Is that the bit? It's got to turn the engine off, turn the air brake on. Uh, which we get the drone out again. Oh no, that's a that's a bridge. That's a bridge. Do they trigger it? Oh, there's the uh, there's the fallen truck. Okay. Oh, do I, oh, there we go. There's the. There's two. Oh no, that's. We're not even. We're looking for a box to trigger some stuff, aren't we? Let me have a look at my map because I'm confused now. We are. River crossing. So that's, that is there. But we can't start tracking it. It's not an expedition, it's a contract. Oh, tourist season, that's why I wait. Let's see if we can get around a bit further. How deep is this? I think it looks deeper than maybe it is. That bloody rock is going to stop me from going where I want to go. If we can get round here, then we'll be alright. Oh, we've got 100 credits for that. I'm starting to think I'm not going to be able to do the job I want to do. So what are they for then? Did I need to trigger something somewhere else? It's sort of confusing me now. River crossing. Because I brought the bit. I'm on it. It is here. It's Got an airdrop there. Missed that. Hmm. Right, so what else is here? Because there's them crates. Air delivery. Is that them? Find. Recently new equipment was ordered by air delivery. But some of this equipment was blown into the water by the wind and carried away by the current. Help us find it. Okay, if I start tracking, right. Is this the air delivery? Is that what this is? Oh, I've got to put a light beacon on it so that makes no difference. Hmm. Well, I know where that is then. So, what is this contract? Expedition. Contracts. Ancient knowledge. But you can't, you can't track them. But the other things we didn't track, we just sort of found them, didn't we? 
when we were in um, little Colorado. Where's the at a destination point? Right, that's right on it there. Unless I need to get here with the water thing to do it, the hydro analysis machine or whatever it was called. Because this is it, this is the point. Oh, we can build the bridge. There's an airdrop over there. So, oh, there's a there's a light in it. Okay, we might be able to still do this job. Let's go get that airdrop. So we don't have to go back to get the light we can go get that one plans change people plans change where's the best way up to that let's just spin my map around right so it's there do you think maybe up there do we go along oh there's a ramp up here we around the back. It's not really a route up, is there? Let me have a little look at the, uh, the truck. That's a plug, isn't it? So that makes me think that if we do that job, if we do that um, geologist thing, geoanalysis, that we get that truck. Because that truck unlocks by completing that job. But that's big, innit? I'm not going to pull, <laughs> pull that with it, am I? It's, that's not going to work. Right. And I'm not sure where that goes either. I think that's triggered like, the other side of the map, so we may have to pull might have to pull it all the way back to the other side of the map as well. Oh, we're um, getting too extra fuel we don't need to at the minute. Like this... It was adamant that it wanted to go off the edge then. It was adamant it wanted to do that to me. game can be cruel. So cruel. I'll lag on the camber again. Oh, come on. I thought he had to use two or three anchors. I don't want to be anchoring everything. I want to be a complete anchor. I thought it was necessary for me to come up here, but never mind. Shall we, uh... Oh, no, it's not it. How do we cycle through time? Oh, we've stuck it in the dark. There we go. Anyway, while I try and uh, find this delivery, this airdrop, I uh, had uh, a few people commenting, um, asking about the game. Uh, is it... I think it was... Um, Okay, my dad asked, is it better than Snow Runner? Um, my answer to him, and I'll sort of reiterate that here, is it's it's not a step forward from Snow Runner, but it's not a step back from Snow Runner. It's a side step. It's, it's not it's not a Snow Runner game. And that sort of reiterates with what I was having a chat with Rusty with as well earlier today. But 
and he said that like the amount of people that are going to jump on this today on full release day and probably complain because it's not like Snow Runner and they were expecting the next Snow Runner game. This isn't the next Snow Runner game. Snow Runner is still being supported. Snow Runner still has. Um, well, we've just had season 12 released and they've announced and, you know, released at least pre order. Uh, for another full year of DLC content and support. So it's at least one more year of Snow Runner. This isn't the Snow Runner game. This, this is a Mud Runner game. We haven't had a Mud Runner game for a long time. And that's what this is. It is this isn't a... And I, I've seen people complain about it a bit. And I've seen other people's, like, what they think of the game. I've watched a few of them. And, uh, yeah, the, the complaint of, oh, there's no deliveries. There's not this. There's not that. It's an exploration game. This isn't a delivery, take a load of you know, supplies to this point and do this. Take a load of supplies to this point and do this. This is a go out and explore and find and make your own way. This is like completely make your own way there. You'll have noticed at no point have we driven on a road. From what I gather, there are no roads in this game. You've constantly got to cut your own path through, find your way, plan your way. That's why we've got the binoculars, that's why we've got the drone and stuff like that, extra fuel carrying. There's no trailers, because there's no deliveries. There's a select few vehicles that are able to support a load, and they're used for bringing your tools and, and things, so... Yeah, for, are they... They're, they're, it's not better, it's not worse, it, it's not that game. It's just sort of that simple of a thing. It is a different game. If you're looking for and after, you know, the next Snow Runner, then maybe, maybe this isn't for you. But if you want a game that's different, but in the vein of, you know, a Mud Runner, a Snow Runner, a Spin Tires game, then this is, this is it. This is a very a very good game for that. I, I I love Snow Runner and I am really enjoying this. To the point that I need to get out and record some more Snow Runner for my hard mode series. And I've put my streams on my Snow Runner streams on hold for at least a week, maybe two weeks, while I uh, get into this and play this. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, sort of correct ourselves a little with this. Somewhat. I want to have to put another winch anchor down. I don't want to have to damage my truck either. <laughs> Might have to let it roll. Tactical roll. There we are. Has to be done sometimes. Right. How am I getting down now? Oh, I did not pick a very good spot to be doing this. I'm going to have to put another anchor in anyway. It's a good job. I'm using... Uh... <laughs> Won't let me move them now. It's a good job of using my... Uh... How about now? Can we do it? Oh, we're just going to roll. This one isn't a tactical roll. Oh, it worked out okay, though. Right, let's, uh, let's do some repairs. Just in case. Yeah, I might do my own sort of this is what I think video, a review of, but I want to get further in. Um, considering I had, you know, five days early access, I've not got far in, but I only, you know, have the opportunity to record and do for a few hours of an evening, and in that same few hours I have to, you know, edit, render, and get it uploaded. So, no doubt, I am way behind everyone else who started early. 
but then again, I, I haven't really watched anyone play in the game. I've just watched a couple of people's those that who I who I've watched and sort of respect from SnowRunner, just to see what their opinions are. I mean, there's plenty of plenty of big channels out there that have done reviews for this, and they're not really the sort of channels that maybe play this. They're just big channels, so they like, that review everything, and one or two of them are sort of a bit off I think but I think because they don't necessarily know the series all too well and some of them are off a bit of good way and some of them are off sorry in a bad way so some of them they, they, like I say a lot of people aren't necessarily grasping what the game is unfortunately But I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes going forwards with um, DLC, especially since, like I say, we've got a full year of SnowRunner content still to come. And having this run alongside it, once again, reiterates that this isn't SnowRunner 2. I think maybe next gen, next console gen that is, because I'm playing on PC, but I always go by console gen, that's how you know game publishers and developers tend to work on that cycle. Um, so we've got 10 grand for this, so that's something. We've recouped a little bit of money. So what are they, those crates for then? Or is, or is that them and that's our light beacon that's going to mark that that's where them crates are? I think that's what we've done. So I'm really unsure now. Because that was under tasks. Contracts. Why does contracts confuse me? Activities. Side quests. There are several types of side activities. Contracts. Side activities that become available as you complete expeditions. Rewards for these. Well, rewards for their completion can include monetary rewards, vehicle upgrades, new spaces, space modules. Contracts may have requirements and then tasks the small jobs that can be found out so perhaps perhaps I can't do that yet then and I've just wasted all that money maybe that is the case right so Well, I think I've been gone about 30 minutes, so instead of this being a really long one, this might be an exceptionally, exceptionally short one, or more of an average one, and then next time we'll have a longer one, we'll do another another expedition, we'll maybe look to one of the other maps, we'll see what other tasks are available and contracts that we've got to do, or we might look at doing something with that, recovering that truck over there. But what I would like to do... Or, oh, let's just make sure the engine's off and everything's done. If I could jump back to here, and that's a purchase, wasn't it? It wasn't a storage. So if I put down a warehouse because I've already brought these things if I sell them back I'm getting 100% aren't I because I've got that geezer I've got that geezer and I um, I'm going to put it back and I want to put now will that stay as 10 even if I come out without the person I don't know. And yeah, well, I'll, the fuel and stuff we'll take with us. We'll take that back. Right. So let's head back to the headquarters. Oh, so what we've done is the uh, river crossing. Is it the river crossing? No, we've. What did we do? We'll find out. Uh, air delivery. That's what we did. <laughs> oh, we've got dinosaur femurs to sell anyway. So we've. 15 grand, we went out um, and it cost like 11 and a half 
we've stored some goods so we shouldn't have to worry about buying them again and we've got 15 grand so we have made a little bit of money not a lot but a little bit of money on this one so with that that will be it for today um not what i plan to do not at all what i plan to do didn't quite grasp how the contract worked um but hopefully you enjoyed it we got to see some stuff done a little bit of scouting uh built a bridge we found a truck that looks like a beast hopefully we we, we complete that and then we get that that would be nice um yeah and, and we did did do a task we did make some money so hopefully you enjoyed it uh, plus i had a little chat about the game didn't i which is nice um, you know on, on what you can expect or not to expect but yeah i might do a, a a proper review once we get maybe through arizona and part way into uh, uh carpathians just because then we'd have seen more of the game and we'd have done more stuff but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.